Learn to fight. Yo, John Fitch here, and I have got another episode of Learn to Fight for you. And today we have another lesson in the fact that guns aren't magic. <laughs> guns aren't magic. Just because you have a gun doesn't mean you're going to get your way. Doesn't mean you're going to get the jump on the person. Doesn't mean you're going to win. It's not magic. It's the person holding the gun who's able to get things done. And in this situation, we have another uh, untrained, unskilled robber, thief, trying to stick somebody up. But the person he's trying to stick up has good situational awareness. We're at a gas station, guys fueling up. This is a very common place for people to get robbed because people aren't paying attention. They're putting their stuff in the car, they're putting the gas in, um, they are looking on their phone, they're waiting, they're just not, they're not paying attention to what's going on around them. There's other people around, they're trying not to make eye contact, you know what I mean? So I, I've seen plenty of videos where when people aren't paying attention, you have a robber, a thief, somebody walk up and steal from them. Steal the car, steal the purse out, steal stuff out of the trunk, like all kinds of situations I've seen things happen where people aren't paying attention at the pump and a bad person comes in and takes advantage of them not paying attention. In this video, we have a guy who is paying attention. He understands the scenario, he understands where, he, where he's at, and he acts, he does not hesitate at all. You're gonna see this. This guy Mosley walks up to the other guy, which he has no business doing. Always be suspect of anybody walking up to you at the gas pump. There's no reason to do it at all. They're either trying to rob you or beg from you. Just say, hey, go away, I don't want any, go away. <laughs> You know, just get away, be ready. Put your pepper spray in your hand, be ready. This guy um, was ready and he was ready for what happened. So let's watch this. It's not a lot of action, but it's, uh, it's kind of funny <laughs> to me. Uh, let's just take it out and see what I'm talking about. See the guy walking up here, casually pulls a gun out. Other guy was ready for it, grabbed it before he fully presented the gun, snatched it from him. And the guy's just like, give me my gun back. <laughs> You're not supposed to do that. You're supposed to be scared. You're supposed to be intimidated. You can see the guy walk back. I think in the process of grabbing the gun, the, the magazine fell out. Either that or he dropped his keys, I'm not sure. But you see it again. The guy walks up nonchalant, tries to bring the gun up, casually presents it in front of him. If you had, like I've had very minimal gun training. I am no expert whatsoever. I'll tell you that straight up. I am not an expert with guns. I've had minimal training with some experts. But I know you don't present the gun. You don't, that's not the first thing you do is stick it way out to them, right? It's supposed to come up close to the body and then you come out. Okay, well this guy has no training. Bad guy with the gun had absolutely no training. Good guy here had his, his eyes up and open and was aware. He's like, why is this mother grabber walking over to me like this? And as soon as the hand comes out, boom, he goes for it. Doesn't hesitate, reacts, put hands on the gun to take it. And this is what I'm talking about. If you don't have training on how to keep the gun or how to present the gun or how to use the gun, people can take it from you. I'm not saying that the guy who grabbed the gun, the big guy here, had training. I'm not saying that he, you know, is some, some uh, Jason Bourne dude. No, like he just had situational awareness and moved. He got his hand on the gun. He realized, you know, most of these guys that are robbing people are cowards or thieves. It doesn't mean that they won't shoot you, but chances are they probably really don't want to, you know? They just want to intimidate you. They want to scare you. They're bullies. They want to scare you into giving up what you have. You stand up to them, look, they run away. He looked a little bit like Napoleon Dynamite running away there, trying to get away. When robbing people goes wrong. He's lucky the guy didn't shoot him. So I'm thinking this guy's probably a pretty decent human being, <laughs> you know? He didn't, he didn't pick a gun up and put a couple rounds into the other guy for trying to stick him up. But that's smooth, man, that's fast. He saw that hand come up, reached out, grabbed it. It's great, man, you can't hesitate. You gotta have situational awareness, gotta know what's going on around you. This guy, this gentleman probably understands it. The neighborhood he's in is probably not the greatest ever. That gas station probably has had people robbed at it before. Who knows, he, he is, may even have had guns pulled on him at that, sp that same gas station before. But that's situational awareness. You have to understand if bad things happen somewhere, often look out for them. 
there's a good chance they're going to keep happening. So you see right there, guns aren't magic. Guns aren't magic. They're not. Just because you have a gun doesn't mean, it doesn't mean you're going to know how to use it. It doesn't mean you're going to know how to use it under duress, under pressure, under stress. Now, obviously, this was a bad guy, and we're glad the bad guy doesn't know what he's doing. But you, as good guys, who are going to use force amplifiers, you're going to need to know how to train yourself and train yourself to, to keep them, not have them taken from you, train how to access them correctly, how to present them, how to use them. Most people just go to the range, pull it out, bang, 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 bang. Shooting stationary targets. You're not, you're not reloading. You're, you're not drawing. You're not pulling from a concealed place. You know, you need, you need to get some, some time and some rounds in with, with the dummy guns and fighting for them. You and your friends, man. You got a gun. Somebody grabs it. Can you, who, who can take it from the other one? Start a grappling match on the ground. Throw a loose gun on the ground. I'm not talking about real guns, you know, the dummy guns, the fake plastic ones. You fight for it. You know, you have to, you have to get to it before the other guy gets to it. Those, those type of things, they're, they're necessary. I would also even consider, uh, you should consider training with somebody who has concealed weapon on them. You're grabbing, you're, you're grappling, you have to uh, feel. You might not even know where it is or if they have it. But you have to be able to feel for those things while you're grappling with them. You have to feel for them reaching for it while you're, while you're grappling with them. You have to be able to recognize that. And do that a number of times. Get yourself comfortable with the idea of what it means to fight for that weapon and to keep it. It's not enough just to carry something. It's not enough. You have to know how to access it. You have to know how to keep it if somebody grabs a hold of it. It's very necessary. And of course, this situation, we're happy that this happened because it was the good guy winning over the bad guy. But the same thing could very easily happen to you if you're not trained with that weapon, right? Somebody could put themselves in a situation to take it from you. Be trained, learn to fight. It's not enough to just have a weapon. You must become the weapon, all right? Thanks for watching guys. That was a little bit of a quick one here, but I think there's a good lesson in situational awareness. Right, there's a really good, <laughs> if that guy would have hesitated for a second, if he was looking at his phone, if he was looking at his phone and didn't see the guy walking up and he looks up and the gun's already on him, now, now he's screwed. Now, now there's no, you're, there's no, you're not making a move at the gun at that point. You're right. I, I, you're going to have to give up whatever he wants. You have to give up your keys or your wallet, whatever, you know, that's just how it is. Maybe you can get fancy and throw your keys at them or you throw your wallet at them and make a rush at that point. But there's a big difference of the gun coming up like this and you and you move, can move for it versus that gun's already on you. <laughs> big difference. And you're not going to have as much options when, when you're already looking down the barrel of that gun. You're, you're kind of done at that point. But this guy, situational awareness, gave him the brief moment where he could make a move and grab the gun before he was uh, flagged by it. He did good, man. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope that was a good lesson. Hope you liked it. Thanks for watching. Make sure you like, share, subscribe. Make sure you're checking out the programs I have down below. I got the intro to practical self-defense. It's free. Download that. Check it out. Then uh, check out the practical self-defense. Learn how to defend yourself. I got a lot of hand fighting stuff, grappling stuff from standing position. I haven't, I haven't introduced stuff on the ground because a lot of people are just, they don't want to go to the ground. Well, that's what I have these things for. That's why I've put out the first two courses is because I want you to give you a lot of options to deal with things without having to hit the ground. Because I don't, I don't think that should be your first option. That shouldn't be your first way to hit the ground. If you hit the ground, you have to understand what to do there. But I'm not, I'm not the hugest fan of planning on taking them down in a self-defense or street fight situation. It, it depends on the scenario. Sometimes it can be the perfect thing to do, but if they do have friends, if they have other people who could come up, it becomes way more dangerous. And being able to out grapple somebody and uh, control somebody while still on your feet, I think is a better, better thing. I think it's better because I can snap guys down. I can push them down. I can push them away. I can create space and move away. Or I can continue to detain them where I'm at. I can get arm bundles, 
hold them there. And if push comes to shove, I can hit a quick trip or sweep to put them down without exposing myself to the ground, just putting them to the ground. And then I could still create space to get away or maybe even punt them in the face if I needed to. <laughs> but I have that option there, all right? So check out the programs. It's, it's worth the money. It's worth your money. Trust me. Get some friends together. Practice this stuff. And then you can turn it into a fun thing you guys do together attacking each other. Who can get to the positions? All right? Have fun with it. Thanks for watching, guys. Appreciate you. And check you all later.